Start recording. Okay, so the uh, issue here is uh, uh, Scribe of the Doctor 16 is on the loose. He has been on the loose for uh, a few waking cycles uh, slash days. And curiously, this has happened just as uh, Scribe is about to make his mission in this thing. So the bigger, the meta story, I think here, was supposed to be that uh, the Prime Servo has orchestrated something. So, mm -hmm. so he has he has nudged the event so that something went wrong here, so that the uh, facility wouldn't be on uh, on full alert or full uh, um, there wouldn't be guards when guards around when uh, when scribe arrives. So it's like it has the uh, the timing is not a coincidence. The timing that something has gone wrong here and the guards are out of the way exactly when uh, when the scribe arrives. This this is not a coincidence. This has been orchestrated by mm -hmm. the meta story arc uh, person. And we ha we touched on this later on when the AI is like. The scribe's like, why aren't you trying yeah. to kill me? And the AI's like, believe oh, me, I'm I am trying. trying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's that. That sort of that should lampshade the fact that uh, that uh, this uh, curious coincidence is no coincidence. However, this particular story itself does not resolve it. So within this particular setting, and to the best knowledge of these people here. Uh, there, there still has to be some sort of event that uh, that triggered the catastrophic uh, something something. So some some something that uh, uh, that has uh, left specimen sixteen roam free. That has left the the uh, uh, base managing AI uh, incapacitated for a time, maybe. Or, or at least go gone into hiding, mm -hmm. and uh, and something that has gotten rid of the guards. But at the same time, the facility has to be uh, intact enough to, like, there might be some structural damage, but it has to be intact enough to roam through without uh, too much trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the data vaults should have to be uh, accessible. And when the AI pops back up, he should immediately be be able to restore some functionalities. So I'm starting to think it has to be some sort of. Uh, some sort of a solar flare, or 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 some sort of electromagnetic thing. Okay. Some, something something that has knocked the base out enough to create a, a, a temporary disruption. But uh, but once certain things have resolved, it can keep on working. And uh, mm. and whatever happened, it has to it has to look natural. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> act natural. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, of course, yeah. uh, of course, the uh, like the the natural part could just be that somebody has crashed nearby and their uh, and their self destruct has uh, given out an EMP. This could actually be somebody <laughs> else's. This could actually be somebody else's mission to uh, a separate short story about uh, some MOOC squad who has <laughs> given a very obscure mission to uh, to plant an EMP charge in in a uh, bear's arse location detonate it and move away or, or nuke it from orbit or whatever did, did you say bear's arse location? yes Excellent. this is the Estonian uh, uh, expression for middle of nowhere. <laughs> 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 so we say in the middle of bears ours. <laughs> nice. I 
think some guy actually uh, managed to rename his farm as Bearsar's farm or, or Bearsar's <laughs> uh, uh, village. Amazing. But I, I don't remember if uh, if he was able to keep it or keep, keep it official <laughs> or not. <laughs> Oh, in case uh, we happen to uh, upload this episode, uh, the good news is that we have actually resolved one major point, uh, namely uh, the part where uh, Scribe and Sixteen have already uh, met, or when when they are meeting eye, eye to eye, and it turns out that uh, Sixteen does not have a uh, working earworm either because it has been removed by the lab or the very event that uh, that knocked out uh, the uh, something from the from the facility has also uh, fried his uh, earworm maybe and uh, and this is where i have invented some uh, foreign speak <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the point is that uh, the scribe will have to turn his earworm audio down so that he would be able to listen and, and respond with his full attention actually in the other tongue and once, the, once both of them have established working uh, uh, working uh, conversation then we will just convey it in English but uh, during that transition period they will be speaking this <laughs> it's glorious <laughs> should I read? yeah 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 definitely okay. Uh, th th okay the stranger launched into an angry diatribe and poked at the side of his head I see you have no earworm Scribe listened carefully and decided to try his luck with his second best Yorf dialect. Locking eyes with the stranger, he tapped his own temple. Juvenius, von a boop? The man's eyes lit up with hope and he nodded. Scribe nodded back. Hold on. Wait. Bajdi. He fiddled with his interface controls and set his earworm's audio out output to minimum. For all its limitations, natural communication skill remained inval il invaluable for his kind. He slowly shaped his vocals and pointed at himself. Mia Uchon Nil Risiko Scribe brought his empty palm slowly up to the eye level. When the other uttered an when the other guy uttered an affirmative grunt, Scribe motioned at him. Gitu Dexesh the guy thumped at his uh, at his chest. Ten six? Oh, of course. Shuvoi nim Dexesh. Your name is sixteen. Ja, Dexesh. Sixteen. Yes. A radiant smile broke through the gore caked on the naked man's face. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And yes, th this is no actual language. This is like a. Uh, a fuddle, fudge of several Slavic and some some German languages. It's even better when you read it out loud as well because it sounds correct. When mm. I read it, I have to sort of guess at <laughs> some of the stuff. But no, that's excellent. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I have already edited this little bit back and forth a little bit, so. Uh, I would say that with some minor corrections, this bit is almost l ready for the <laughs> final text. <laughs> yeah. But now we are trying to move past it. We're moving the like we're leaving the uh, introductions and uh, and the getting to know the surroundings part. Uh, we're leaving those for for later or in the end and right now we're working on the part where uh, where 16 is taking the scribe further into the facility and the discussion started 
when uh, when I asked, so what actually happened here? Mm -hmm. And I didn't have an answer. <laughs> I, could, I could provide a very basic time frame, uh, and and that was it. Mm -hmm. When was that? But Mook Squad EMP charge in Bear's ass location. I, I can already see a story with that, right? <laughs> 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 uh, note it down somewhere because right now I haven't written it down anywhere. I've got it written down on my okay. uh, pad of awesomeness. Okie dokie. Yeah. Is it a pad of awesomeness? It's got all notes about the game and stuff in it, so I guess it is. Oh, there's some Outrunners notes in here as well. It's the omni... omnipresent? Omni... knowledgeable? I don't know. <laughs> notepad. Omniscent. It knows a lot. Omni yes, omniscient notepad. There you go. I think I'm elevating it a bit above its station, but okay. <laughs> you should... Um, I know you're still recording, but you should take the chunk of the bit you've just written uh, and upload it separately to YouTube as a sort of preview, sneaky-deaky, listen to this reading sort oh, of thing. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Uh, I can... Let me think. Oh yeah, with uh, with a short thing like this, uh, I can just cut it out. Like mm -hmm. I, I know that the the uh, OBS renderings don't respond too well to further processing, because I think uh, I think what happens then is that uh, you splice and dice the uh, the files and it generates like a second layer of file container around the first oh, <laughs> I think okay. so so basically what I've seen uh, prior is that the file sizes will bloat uh, while mm. the uh, while the on-screen quality gets lowered so that's that's why I usually try not to uh, not to process anything that I record by record with OBS but I'm gonna make an exception. <laughs> now then, where were we? Talking about the uh, event that allowed 16 to go free. Uh, the event that disrupted something and uh, at this point Here's the thing, we will know more about the event than uh, 16 or Scribe for that matter. So like mm -hmm. 16 knows that something happened that uh, allowed him to break free from his restraints. And he might extrapolate some, but uh, but they, he and Scribe will not know the full answer. Uh, by the end of this story. I think that's fair enough. I will write it down just in case. This is the point where Scribe should worry. <laughs> mhm. Mm and Data Vault. <laughs> so gangster. <laughs> and 
Uh, this would also explain why the doctor will pop up there. It's because that's <laughs> this is very <laughs> this is very Star Trek Voyager now. <laughs> is that uh, the uh, so the doctor? I'm not speaking of Doctor Hologram, but the AI uh, mm -hmm. is running at limited capacity, and he's been restoring or rebooting himself uh, in the uh, within the data vaults, which have been shielded. So the so the rest of the facility, the the AI is not simply hiding; it has been damaged as well. So he's been doing backups and uh, and repairs and whatnot. Something electromagnetic. Once again, you've solved a couple of problems in with one simple sentence. Uh, the doctor's down in the data vaults. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that, ex that explains why he's online there. Whereas in the original draft, it was just a sake of convenience that the, the doctor rocked in when he did. Uh, I don't really want Scribe to take 16 with him. How can I get rid of him? Ooh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically, uh, Scribe and Sixteen will have some conversations on their way. So I'm thinking... How much the whole Sixteen won't shut up and, uh, and Doctor has to remind him that, that he needs to ration his, uh, his attention, how much that uh, even comes to play now. The scribe needs to ration his attention, but yeah. So it's like uh, right now they actually have uh, uh, have reasonable stuff they need to discuss. Mhm. Mm so it's not a waste. <laughs> yeah. There. So I think uh, the the point about. Uh, about scribe needing to res uh, reserve his uh, his brain rations, uh, that might still be a point, but it won't be as important. So mm. it's like maybe maybe in some specific place. Data procurement Broke three. They tried to stop me. They failed. Uh, do you know what they were trying to do? I do not. And why you didn't evacuate? Is there any chance you signed up for this? Nobody would sign up for this. I did not hit her. I, I did, did not. not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think I know where to go now. Uh, da, 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 da. So they are on, uh, on route to the facility proper, and uh, and uh, it is becoming evident that there aren't as many people here as the scribe has previously known. Mm -hmm. But also, he has he has already noticed uh, that some of the 
uh, interior are basically just uh, props. Uh, so now that they have talked like, oh, you killed all fi 500 of them. No, no, just 12. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and a little little bit of back and forth about. So do you know what happened? Not really. But right now the systems are down. Okay, so I don't really know what happened. point about AI is tactically important and uh, and at this point uh, 16 might be curious in return like so so why are you he why are you here mm-hmm yeah I think we need to establish that as well because yeah we haven't really spoken about why scribes. <coughs> and then scribe speaks something about uh, he was sent. This is and this is where the uh, name discrepancy could come in. So maybe there's a different name for Baima. Mhm. Mm well, you've already got one there, right? Because I well, it's not really phonetically different, but that's how I spell it. Uh, whatever. Spe yeah. Spelling. Uh, this is not about different spelling. This is about having a completely different name. Mhm. Mm Nice. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we we will figure out uh, a foreign name for it. Mm -hmm. I would uh, so this is uh, a bigger world building tangent. I would think that uh, the least concentrated, uh, like the, the least human concentrated area is, or the the least uh, inhabited it is, uh, the. M the more different name versions it might have because like if if you have a region uh, with home worlds that have a strong presence of one particular civilization then they keep referring to themselves with the, by using their local names and if others keep uh, contact with them then since they are constantly using those names these these sort of stick so other others other cultures uh, outsiders will prob will more likely adopt the local names but if you have a region that doesn't have a strong local human presence to begin with uh, then you can have the situation where one traveler calls it one thing and another another has a, has their own name for it etc 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 mm-hmm so the the frontier area areas would have more known names than uh, than the uh, settled areas. 
that's that's my point. Yeah, works well. <laughs> okay, I think I will bank the recording now, uh, yep. and we can carry on as is as you were. If this gets uploaded, thank you very much for watching, whoever was watching, and we shall see you in the next one, maybe. Bye! Bye!